Today we will be creating hover titles for thumbnail index for Cargo Collective. Uh, I already have a video about Cargo 2 thumbnail index and this will be about Cargo 3. Uh, to see the difference and what we can do with Cargo 3, uh, well, let's start. Let's see what do I have here. Uh, so I created several pages. Each page contains an image, which I will be using for the preview. And here is a home page. Uh, to create a new thumbnail index, you simply need to click add button, select thumbnail index, and that's it. So the next step is to enable titles or captions. So if you click uh, this red rectangle and then uh, select this checkbox, you will see your titles. Okay, uh, now this part is ready. Maybe you can style your captions a little bit. If you click text style icon and then select captions, you can uh, change the color or change the font size. Let's make them slightly bigger. Uh, you can, uh, we can set it to white, but uh, well, in case you want to use captions somewhere else and maybe you need them to be black, I'll show you how to reset the color in CSS. So, okay, and next step and the last step for HTML part, for the structure part, is uh, setting the custom class. So click the code view, find your gallery grid tag. Uh, your structure can be a little bit more complex, but yeah, you're generally just looking for uh, this tag. It's going to call gallery grid, thumbnail index, and that's uh, yeah how it usually looks. And here you need to set new attribute class equals and then you can name this class i'm going to name it my thumbs okay uh, this part is ready and let's move to css all right let's move to the css tab uh, first thing is the selector mm, let's say my thumbs uh, then the next part is caption don't forget the dot Okay, and first res let's reset the position. Value is going to be absolute. Then next thing is background color. Okay, um, yeah, let's change it to something black and transparent. All right, um, next step is color. Uh, it's going to be text color. Uh, you can say white or change this value however you want. Uh, then let's make uh, this thing to fill in the whole box. Uh, need to set height to 100%. We still have some uh, padding here, like some gap. Let's fix that. Uh, margin zero. Okay. Uh, next step is to place this text in the middle of the box. Uh, I'm going to use display flex for that, but there are many ways how to do that. Okay, display flex, and just in case you want to mm, place your text in the uh, one of the corners, uh, let's add some padding, uh, maybe 10 pixels is going to be enough. All right, uh, then we need to add two more um, rules. One is going to be align items, and then you can choose between uh, several options. I'm going to choose center, but if you choose, let's say, um, flex end is going to be here so you can play with that uh, let's go back to center okay this is how we align things vertically and uh, next is justify content I'm gonna also use center okay um, everything is ready the last step is to set opacity because we need to hide these cards um, here but uh, make them visible only on hover opacity zero yeah that, that's it and the next step is to set hover selector, copy this line and yeah, paste it here. Now in between these two things, let's type media item, uh, item, okay, column and hover. And here we need to reset opacity back to one. All right, and now when I hover these cards, I can see my titles. Uh, we can also add transition to make uh, the animation a little bit more smooth. Uh, let's say opacity zero dot four. Okay, and opacity. Yeah, now you see the difference. All right, it seems uh, that everything works, but let's talk about mobile version.
Right, let's deal with mobile view. So uh, first click this button and reset the number of columns. Uh, also, you can change your font size, but we still have a problem here. Well, mobile devices don't really have any hover. That's why we won't see our titles. Well, we will see them uh, when uh, someone clicks the card, but it's not what we want. And I'll show you how to make them visible or how to reset them completely. So let's go back to CSS view and copy the selector once again. All right, uh, one more part is body.mobile. Okay, that's it. And now everything we type here uh, will affect only mobile devices. Let's start with opacity. Okay, let's change it back to one. Then uh, you can keep it like that or you can reset other styles. Let's start with position. Uh, they're gonna be relative. Okay then let's reset background color let's say um, unset you also can say transparent next value is uh, color but we can say unset here we need to provide a value i'm going to say black okay hide well it doesn't do anything here anymore but i think it's better to reset it to outer next part is margin zero we can keep it like that uh, i don't think it do anything uh display well display is going to be block okay next part is padding uh let me show you something about paddings so yeah now you see that uh when i added the same value here something has changed that means that cargo resets this padding somewhere else and we are resetting a uh, padding which resets <laughs> the desktop padding so you can just simply remove it and allow cargo to style the padding how however they like all right, uh, then these two things, well, they're not working without display flex, uh, but once again, I still think that we should inside them. All right, um, what, what else? Well, you can keep transitioning, it doesn't really do anything here. Yeah, it seems ready. So now you have your mobile layout back and you still have hover titles for desktop version and that's it. Alright, follow my channel to see more tutorials about Cargo Collective and goodbye.